Hello there, my name is Casey Gray. The Grim Reaper was not happy when I beat him at chess. And this is D&D Expertise, Episode 24. As adventurers, you fight to help the world as well as yourselves. I'm happy to say that you can do both, facilitating the redistribution of stagnant wealth and stimulating economic growth through your own spending. All it takes is a little grave robbing. Wealthy narcissists seem to have a thing for trying to hoard their riches even into death, erecting monuments to their grandeur and to safeguard their sequestered gold. If they'd done the noble thing and been buried in a hole in the ground, you'd have no need to disturb their resting place. But here we are. Good money pays for good architects, so you'll need to watch out for myriad traps. Common staples are swinging blades, impaling spikes, trap doors, crushing stones, and shooting darts. Any one of these might maim a party member, so tread carefully. Fortunately, the traps are frequently accompanied by riddles or other puzzles that provide a clue to the danger, perhaps out of a sense of sportsmanship. Not every threat is mechanical, though. A tomb is never without its guardians, though crypts don't support much in the way of an ecosystem. Anything you encounter in its depths probably doesn't need to eat or sleep. Undead are plentiful and often difficult to discern from other bodies in a catacomb until they begin to move. Golems and other constructs can appear to be just another part of the decor until your back is turned. There are few things more frustrating than being jumped by a gargoyle for the fifth time in an hour. Overcoming the obstacles is worth it, however, since the treasure trove at the end will fill your pockets and has a good chance of containing a couple of magic items that would be much more useful in your capable hands than their dead ones. <laughs>